Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris here. Long time no see. Uh, today is June 17th, 2009, and Apple just recently released its newest firmware for the iPhone and iPod Touch 3.0. So I'm going to give you guys a quick demo, a quick overview, and uh, my first impressions. I know you guys are going to be seeing a lot of these, but you know I'd go ahead and let you guys see mine, um, and let you guys see the new firmware. Alright guys, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight on into this. Alright guys, so like I said, I'm here with you guys with the new iPhone and iPod Touch firmware, uh, firmware version 3.0, recently just released today, June 17th, 2009, like I said, and uh, I'm going to be demoing it for you guys, I just picked it up from the iTunes store, um, for all of you uh, iPod Touch users like me, you can purchase it for $9.99, so just for about $10 you could purchase the new update, and for you iPhone users out there, it's free, so, um, Obviously, if you have an iPod Touch or um, iPod Touch second generation, you're going to be paying the price. But in my opinion, I guess it's a, it's a worthy upgrade. You're eventually going to need to upgrade to it. Might as well just do it now. Um, and it also has a couple extra things that you might need and that are actually really cool now. Okay? So, first thing I'm going to go ahead and cover with you guys is cut, copy, and paste. Um, this has been in speculation for quite some time now. Uh, a little while back, Apple told you guys that they're going to be having it. Um... And now it's here, now it's out, now you guys can do it without having a jailbroken iPod Touch or iPhone. You guys can see this is my first generation with the music skins on it, uh, unjailbroken. So, you do not, no, you no longer need to be jailbroken to cut, copy, and paste. So, for example, I'm going to go ahead and go over to the Apple website. You guys can see it right here. I'll go ahead and zoom all the way out. Um, I am actually on the 3.0 firmware uh, software update, however you guys, which one you want to call it, uh, page. Go ahead and zoom in now. I'm actually going to go ahead and throw it into landscape right there so you guys can see it's a little bit better. So as you guys can see here, the first one they also list is cut, copy, and paste. I'll be doing this along with their site. So let's go over to here. Let's go ahead and show you guys the cut, copy, and paste. Right there it says cut, copy, and paste. Uh, quick and easily cut, copy, and paste text from application to application. Select entire box of web text with one with a tap. Uh, copy and paste images from the web as well. So not only can you copy and paste words, uh, sentences, or paragraphs, you can also uh, copy and paste images. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and, for example, show you guys copy and paste. Uh, let's go ahead and select, tap this right here. There we go. So now I double tapped it. I'm going to highlight this sentence right here where it says web text with a app, uh, with a tap, excuse me. And then you guys can see a little thing will come up right there, which is copy. And it wants to know if you want to copy it. So I'm going to click copy. Now that goes away. Now it knows I copied that. I'm going to go home. I'm now going to go into my notes application. I'm going to go ahead and make a new notepad right there. Go ahead and zoom out a little bit, or zoom in, excuse me. Um, and now what I want to go ahead and do is just double tap right here, and it'll give you the option to ask you if you would like to paste. So let's go ahead click paste and there we go that same exact text straight from the web straight from the safari app on your iphone or ipod touch just went into your notes app uh... so if you're taking some notes on something in safari and you want it in your notes app not just something like this you can go ahead and very simply uh... just like that cut copy and paste i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna zoom in um, also let me see if i can get this here for you guys yep right here if you want to highlight a whole paragraph just go ahead click on the paragraph where you want it to and then come out of the paragraph and it'll highlight the whole thing right here. Go ahead and click copy. Wait till it goes away. Go ahead, click your home button. Go to the notes tab. I'll go ahead and make a new note pad. Double tap right there. And there's our option to paste. There we go, guys. It's right there on the screen. Um, so that's the first one, guys. Cut, copy, and paste. Just to quickly prove to you guys that I am on 3.0 so you guys don't think I am uh, jailbroken or something like that. I'm just hiding an application. Let me go ahead. Uh, where is it? About and you guys can see right where is it at right there version 3.0 i am on 3.0 okay so the next one i'm going to go ahead and cover for you guys uh it's a pretty minor thing but something that we really wanted us uh all you and me iphone and ipod users um a landscape keyboard in different applications uh, such as your mail uh, application safari notes uh messages like text and everything like that so Let's go ahead into notes again. Let's go ahead and make a new note. Okay, let's go ahead and just move the camera a little bit. 
and usually what you have to do is you have to have it here in this little boring portrait mode. You have to type here. Your thumbs may be really close together. It's hard to type like that. But now what you can do is just go ahead and take your iPod with the use of the accelerometer. Go ahead and turn it into landscape. Now you can type in landscape mode. And just like you were to text on maybe an Envy or something like that, um, it's much easier. As you guys can see, your thumbs aren't squished together to try and... Um, choose what uh, buttons or whatever you wish to uh, click on. You guys can see the keys are much more spread apart. It is a lot easier to type like this, guys. So, uh, not only have they added that to the notes application, if you wish, you can also go into your mail app. You can go and, let's see, write a new uh, message. And if you want, landscape mode. Just like that, much easier now with emails. This is definitely going to come in handy with me because I do a lot of emailing on my iPod Touches. Um, so landscape mode is definitely a thumbs up for Apple with that. All right, and now something I can't show you, but I'm going to let you guys know about. If you're an iPhone user, uh, you can now use MMS. What MMS is is that that means you can send uh, photos, audio, you can send videos. Um, and also contact information uh, f via your iPhone or uh, your iPhone 3G or your iPhone 3GS. So that is definitely something that all you guys really wanted that was probably a necess necessity from the beginning, but now they're just adding it, which is okay. Uh, but it is definitely um, something that you really want to have in your phone um, and that you guys should definitely uh, most look forward to if you have an iPhone on the new 3.0. All right. Now, one of the next major things that they added is the spotlight search. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in all the way down here to the bottom of my dock. Let's get it a chance to focus. Zoom out a little bit. Yeah, you guys can see that right there now. All the way to the left, you guys can now see a little mag magnifying glass. That is the new spotlight search. Instead of having three dots now, uh, just two dots, excuse me, for the two pages that I have, uh, you can now do a spotlight search. Simply, let me go ahead and zoom out, simply by scrolling over, just like that. Or, if you want, you can also push the home button while you're on the home screen to search. Now, what this spotlight search allows you to do is you can find um, a lot of things that are you can narrow down a lot of things that are in your iPhone or iPod Touch uh, just into one spotlight search. So, say you want to go through your contacts or through music um, without having to go through uh, the thousands or the hundreds of songs you have or the hundreds of contacts uh, that you have. Um, you can also do it with email, calendar, uh, calendar events, and everything like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click up here and I'm going to go ahead and type in Dan. And as you guys can see here, everything that has to do with the word Dan or D-A-N or anything like that will come up now in a spotlight search. So we'll go ahead, once I click search, make it go away now. Uh, you can now scroll through the spotlight search, which will list you uh, a lot of different things. You guys can see in here now is um, the isolated incident, Dane Cook, because uh, it says Dan, almost Dane. So those came up there. And also the first one is the closest thing, Dan Japinski, you guys should know him. Um, his contact came up. So you can go ahead and just click on that. It'll open up whatever application that happens to be in. This just happened to be contacts and it'll list your contact information right there. So that spotlight search guys is something that is actually very cool. Uh, definitely going to come in handy if you know how to search for a song and you don't want to have to search through it in your music application. So that's a definitely a thumbs up for Apple with the spotlight search. All right. Now, also, if you have an iPhone, I believe also if you have an iPod Touch 2G as well, uh, something they added is voice memos, which is a little microphone application. You guys can't see it here because this is the 1G, once again, without the volume rockers, uh, where you can use the microphone or a headset with a microphone or an attachable microphone to record voice memos um, to your iPhone or iPod Touch second generation, I believe, with the iPod Touch second generation, but I know for a fact that it will be on the new iPhone firmware. All right. They also added a couple of improvements to the calendar application, which you guys can see when it opens up. If you had had events listed here, they have different highlights. Um, you can also create meetings via Microsoft Exchange, uh, Active Sync, and you can also subscribe to calendars with this new thing they call Cal Dev Support. That's just an abbreviation. Um, you can list new events, everything here. It'll come up in different colors, everything. It's pretty neat. Nothing else too major on the calendar application. Next one they have up here is the iTunes store. They added a couple updates to here. Now in the iTunes store, you can buy um, movies, TV shows, and audiobooks straight from your iPhone or iPod Touch. You don't have to go to your iTunes library to do it. Uh, 
Okay. So right up, right off the bat, when you open it up, you will see now at the top it'll say new releases, top genres. That's always been there. But if you go ahead and go into videos, you go ahead and now look at the top. You can now see movies, TV shows, and music videos. Some of those being new. Let's go ahead, click on TV shows. You can go in here, and the TV shows that they offer in the iTunes store, now right on your iPod Touch, you can download them straight here to your iPhone or iPod Touch. Same thing to do with music videos. It's a cool little add-on right there for the iTunes store. Um, go ahead and go over, over, and over again. You guys can see pretty much the same thing. Uh, redeem, audiobooks, pretty cool. All right. Um, now, one of the biggest things that they added was an update to the stocks app. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, but something they did just refresh their stocks app a little bit. If you go ahead and turn it into landscape mode, give it a second. You can now have a bigger uh, view of your stock, maybe that you're interested in. You can also edit it by uh, choosing certain periods of time or anything like that right there. Uh, break it down into different sections. Really neat. Uh, if you're into that, I guess. Okay. Now, they also added uh, Safari improvements, uh, made it a little bit faster uh, while you're searching. Um, you can now autofill usernames and passwords, which is a really cool thing, so you don't have to sign in every time. Um, if you're an iPhone user, you can now do use internet tethering, which means you can use your iPhone's uh, connection, your iPhone service, and tether it to your laptop on the go, wherever you happen to be, and get internet wherever you happen to be, as long as you have service on your cell phone. Uh, that's a really cool thing. Also, stereo Bluetooth, which will enable you to connect uh, a compatible Bluetooth stereo, headphones, or car kits, uh, and other accessories to your iPhone or iPod Touch to play music through there and or videos. Uh, another little thing is automatic Wi-Fi login. Uh, you can log in to Wi-Fi hotspots, um, and your iPhone or iPod Touch will automatically log you in uh, once you connect to that again. Pretty cool thing right there. Uh, your notes, you can sync them now to a PC or Mac. Not that big. Uh, parental controls, uh, not really going to worry about that too much because I don't think your parents control your iPhone or iPod. If you do, I'm sorry for you. Um, but um, you can also, one more thing with the iTunes store, is that you can create, sorry about that, you can create and log in uh, to one or more iTunes store accounts directly from your iPhone or iPod Touch. You guys are always wondering, how can I make an iTunes account? Um, you can now do it straight from your iPhone or iPod Touch, which is very neat. And now, something else that I found really cool is with the YouTube application, you can now log into your own YouTube account. Uh, you can save and sync bookmarks, and uh, you can also rate and check out your favorite videos. So, usual, you have the featured right there. You have the most viewed, same. And then you have search, same. And then you can also now go into favorites. And what I've already done ahead of time, so you guys don't have to see my pass or everything like that, I've signed in to my YouTube account. Up here, it will tell you sign in. Uh, if, you, if you're not signed in already, you click that. It'll bring up a little box. It'll tell you to put in your username, then your YouTube password. And then you will be signed in to your YouTube account. And then with that, you can look at your subscriptions, different playlists, your videos, history, top rated, most recent as well, those are the usual. Then you can also go down into favorites, and now with your favorites, it has your favorites of your YouTube page. So if you were to go to my YouTube channel right now, youtube.com slash or forward slash iTouch iPods, and scroll down to my favorites, these are the favorites that you would see. Right here, I'll go ahead and, for example, Combative Airsoft Forts, the war me and my friends had yesterday. It'll play right there. I'm going to click Done before it goes ahead and plays. Uh, so when you're done with the video, you click Done or you let it finish. Now you're greeted with this new screen right here, uh, which says Info. And you can also look at more videos from that channel. You guys go ahead and check that out. It's our other channel, Combative Airsoft. Um, it'll show you the video description. It'll tell you the date that it was added, the category, the tags that are on it. Uh, and you can also view the comments that are on the video, which is really neat. Go ahead and scroll up. Uh, you can also now, if you want, you can rate, comment, and or flag the video. Go ahead and click that. It'll give you the options. I'm going to go ahead and rate it and comment it. I'm going to go ahead and rate it five stars. Just go ahead and simply... Uh, scroll over it or tap it uh, just like that like you would in the iTunes store if you're gonna review something I'll say great video go ahead and give it an exclamation point go ahead and click send it will then show up in the comments just give it a second to reload the comment sections uh, and it will show up there which is also a very cool feature uh, minor but one of my favorite features in the new firmware because us being people on YouTube uh, comes in handy Another little thing that they added, let's go ahead and go into the music application. 
Okay, I'll go ahead into now playing. Uh, you guys can see, I'm not going to play anything for you guys on here, but it's the starting line. Uh, that's just, you guys can see that uh, is their album cover, but um, I'm not going to play it. But you guys can see down here is a new little section, or new little, they revamped this bottom piece right here. So if you want to go ahead and play your music, um, let's go ahead and pause that. And you guys are wondering, I don't see any volume controls uh, at the bottom. To do that, just go ahead and simply plug in your headphones. If you have a 1G iPod Touch without speakers, and then your volume will show up right there as well, and you can adjust the volume then. Uh, it will also show up on screen, which is very neat. Let's go ahead and unplug that right there, my radius headphones. Uh, and a cool thing that they added is that sometimes you guys can know you can t tap this right here, then you can choose to suffer your music or not. Um, if you guys aren't really into that, and maybe you're playing a sport or something like that, maybe you're outside running, a uh, cooler thing that you can do is let me go ahead and zoom out for you guys here. Now you can shake it. That wasn't hard enough. Um, you guys can see right there, that's actually a pretty good example. Maybe if you're running and you're worried about it, shuffling, auto-shuffling while you're shaking, uh, because you're running, you don't have to worry about that. You actually have to shake it pretty vigorously to get it to actually shuffle the song. Uh, actually, let me go ahead and try this off camera, because obviously I can't really shake, oh, nail the camera or something. You guys can see, let's see if it shows up. Oh, man, ha. Ah. Live video, guys. What can you do? Uh, this is a long video, but um, let's go ahead and try to play it at the same time. Let's see if it's on shuffle. Oh, I think I just did that. So let's go ahead and try that again. Oh, nailed the camera. There we go. You guys see right there. You have to shake it pretty vigorously, and it will automatically change the song. Cool little add-on um, right there. I'm going to try to speed this up a little bit more. Uh, let's see, there are also uh, new languages that it supports, and you also have the new capability to run the newest applications in the App Store uh, at, the, at their capable speeds, at their highest speeds. So, guys, that's my overview of the new 3.0 software update for the iPhone uh, and iPod Touch. Spotlight right there. Um, in my opinion, guys, should you pick this up? If you're an iPhone user, guys, definitely. Don't even think about it. Just go straight to iTunes. Click check for update or update, whichever it says for you. Make sure on the latest iTunes, update it right away. Uh, back up all your stuff. Then get straight on to this firmware. Definitely something you iPhone users are going to want. My iPod Touch viewers, my, you got iPod Touch viewers out there, 1G and 2G. Um, I say, yeah, 10 bucks. Go ahead and pick it up. Um, it definitely has some add-ons that you guys can find in handy. So... Yes, guys, my opinion, I think the new 3.0 firmware is a definite pickup for you guys, and that you should go check it out. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. I will catch you all. Uh, sorry about making this a little bit lengthy, um, but thank you once again for watching. I will catch you all later. All the information you guys will need in the sidebar, links, Twitter, everything like that. Uh, thank you for watching this. If you stayed to the end, almost a 20-minute video. Sorry about that, guys. But uh, I will catch you all later. Thanks for Apple for releasing this, I guess. But uh, catch you all later, guys. Have a wonderful day. Favorite, comment, rate, subscribe. Peace.